In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cyberpunk bass. At the end, we'll have something that sounds like this. So that's the pattern I'm going to be using. Let's open up Vital and get started. All right, I can use this initial patch. I'm just going to tune it down 12 steps. Next, I'm going to set that to inharmonic stretch. Turn on oscillator 2, detune that by 12 steps, and we're going to choose a cry for squares. We're going to adjust the frame value of that up to about here, just above halfway. I'm going to set that to feed into filter 1, and I'll reduce all of the phase out of there. Now I'm going to adjust envelope 1. Alright, next we'll switch on oscillator 3 and we'll choose 2009 growl. We'll also feed that into filter 1. I'm going to increase the unison on this. And adjust the deep tuning. Next we'll go down to filter 1, turn that on, and choose dirty 12 dB. Going to move the cutoff right back to about here, and adjust the resonance down as low as we can go. But I'm also going to turn the drive up to about there. Okay, so let's now take uh, envelope 1, and we're going to use that to adjust the cutoff of filter 1. And I'll adjust that down. So that's pretty good. Let's move into the effects section. To start with, I want an EQ. I'll drag that to the start of the chain. I'm going to roll off the high end as it is a bass sound. Okay, next we'll have some distortion. We'll choose a sine fold and adjust the drive like so. And adjust the mix down. I'm also going to go for a pre filter, reducing the cutoff a bit. Get rid of that resonance. I'm 
good. Now we'll have our compressor, move that down the chain. Let's go for low band, and I'll just adjust this a little. Then we'll add a filter. I'm going to set this to dirty 12 dB. I'm going to adjust that cutoff back about there and also just adjust the resonance just a little bit as well and increase the drive about a quarter way. So now let's apply envelope one to the cutoff of this filter. And we want to reduce that down just a bit. Okay, and lastly, let's add in some reverb. Great, that's good. So there's a that's a good sound that we've got going on there. I just want to add in a couple of other things. So we'll head back to the voice section and I want to add some macros in. So first off, let's add, I'm just going to call this, if you click on this little pen here, you can change the name here. I'm going to call this cut off. So let's go back into our effects. Okay, so now let's apply this cut off to the cutoff here on this EQ, just reduce that, oh, this is annoying, and then apply the same cutoff also over to this function here. So when I use this macro, this is what it's going to sound like. So it helps add a little bit of that 80s style cyberpunk squelch to the sound. And that's our finished bass sound, so you can go away and use that to create some awesome cyberpunk music. Thanks for watching, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It helps the channel grow and then I can provide you with more content like this. Stay classy internet.